Hey guys, uh, this is Nathan. I'm back with you again as this month's featured collector. Alright guys, so here we are. Uh, we're going to start over here uh, on this wall. So, uh, let's see how many times we can say detail. So here we go. Uh, over here on the left, we have the one-third scale Christian Bale Batman from Queen Studios. I got him not that long ago. Uh, this comes with a sculpted hair portrait as well. Um, really, really big fan of that uh, extra portrait. Uh, and I just recently switched over to this one, but I will definitely be uh, swapping those out routinely. I think Queen Studios did a wonderful job on this one, and I'm happy to have it in the collection. Um, if you're out there looking at this piece, I would not hesitate to go with a version that comes with the extra portrait if you can. Uh, moving right, we have the uh, one to one scale Ben Affleck bus from Queen Studios as well. Um, had this for about a year and a half now and still really happy with it. Um, no degradation of the silicone uh, at all. Um, still looks like day one from factory. Moving right is the Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman from Tweezer Head and Sideshow. Uh, just recently got her, like many others, and um, made the choice to keep this one over the old school Sideshow. I wound up selling that one. I'm real happy with this one so far. Uh, I like the fact that it is uh, uh, displayed horizontally as opposed to vertically. I think it'll open up some display options uh, I wouldn't have otherwise. Moving right, uh, we have this custom Michael Keaton bust. Uh, complete with a swappable faceplate. Moving right, the one-third scale Heath Ledger Joker from Queen Studios. This is the sculpted hair portrait. I do also have the extended base on order for this and the Batman, but have not gotten it in yet. Moving right, we have the uh, Hunter from Bloodborne. Uh, Prime One Studios. This is one quarter scale. Um, not much lighting back here, unfortunately, at the moment. Uh, just got this one not too long ago. Was lucky enough to get it direct from Prime One. Uh, they found some new old stock in their warehouse and uh, had a few that they added. So I was able to get it, like I said, direct from them back in October of 21, I believe. Moving right, we have uh, Lilith from Diablo 4, uh, Blizzard Studios. Also need to put some lighting up here. So over on this side of the room, I've got all of the art prints from the XM Samurai line uh, framed and displayed on this wall. I think it's really great that they include these with the statues. Um, something they don't have to do, but it's just a really nice touch and is a great addition to the collection. Moving right, we have the Lego Batwing uh, and my last two remaining Detolf cases. So we've got Batgirl from Tweeterhead. This is the EX. Um, on the right there we have the Prime 1 one third bust uh, Batman from The Dark Knight Returns and uh, just got that one recently from their winter sale really happy with it uh, it's really cool that the portraits are swappable with the full-size statue that we're uh, gonna see later moving down the 1966 Batman and Robin from Hot Toys just waiting on their Batmobile from Jazz Inc right now Moving down a little further, we have some extra portraits for the Lieber Mayo Joker, a extra faceplate for the 89 Batman Custom, and the other portrait for the Queen Studios one third Bale. Batman. Okay, uh, down below the uh, shelf on the wall, we have a couple of cases. Uh, this first one has got the 89 Batmobile, Batman, and Joker, uh, all from Hot Toys Collectibles. Uh, up at the top right, you see the Batmobile from Lego. 
moving right. As a placeholder currently, we have the Scarecrow Premium Format and variant uh, Modern Batman, both from Sideshow Collectibles. I do have the 1966 Batmobile on order from Jazz Inc., uh, which was recently fully licensed. Um, should be coming, I hope, in April of 2022. So we will see. Fingers crossed. Okay, a little bit about this shelf, for those wondering. Uh, it is a custom-built shelf. Uh, it's 20 inches deep. Uh, and unfortunately, they don't sell boards that are that wide, so I did have to glue several boards together. Uh, I made some wooden dowels um, and used some good wood glue, and they came together nicely. I went into the studs with those brackets you see. Uh, they're real heavy duty. Uh, I then painted the shelves black, and I wrapped them in uh, the fabric you see there. I still need to put uh, pull that fabric a little bit tighter, but uh, it's fine for the moment. Uh, looks great, and it holds a lot of weight, as you can see. All right, everyone, this is definitely the centerpiece of the collection. I'll talk briefly about the cases. These are all IKEA PAX units. Uh, they have multiple sizes available. This particular size is 92 inches tall uh, by roughly 40 inches wide. The shelves are sold separately. I did reinforce them under each shelf with a, a board mounted vertically and screwed in with some 3 inch wood screws on each side of each shelf. You can see there on the left. I then put some wood trim and some LED light bars underneath the lips of the each shelf. Uh, most of the wires for the lighting are hidden pretty well and it turned out real nice I think. It definitely holds a lot of weight and it gives me a lot of display options. It holds some pretty big pieces in there. Alright, starting up here in the top left, we have a custom 89 Joker, uh, 89 Batman from Sideshow Collectibles, as well as Adam West Batman from Sideshow Collectibles as well. Moving down, we have Samurai Deathstroke and Shugo Batman from XM Studios. Moving down to the bottom left, we have the most recent Batman Premium format from Sajo Collectibles, as well as Nightmare Joker. Alright, moving back to the middle. At the top we have Bane and Harley Quinn from XM Studios. That Bane is massive in person. Really takes up a lot of space. And moving to the middle, we have Shogun Batman from XM Studios. Behind him, we have some imitation maple leaves. Just a work of art. Moving down, we have uh, a couple from Prime One Studios. We have the one-third scale Batman from The Dark Knight Returns and the one-third scale Joker from Lee Bermejo. So, uh, what first got me into statue collecting? Well, uh, I started collecting uh, McFarlane uh, figures and Star Wars Un Unleashed figures uh, back in the early 2000s. Uh, I really liked the Alien and Predator stuff that McFarlane was doing as well as a lot of the horror uh, pieces that they were putting out. And then uh, the Star Wars Unleashed series was really, really cool at the time. Uh, it was affordable, had some really, really cool uh, dynamic poses from the characters, and I really liked it. <clears throat> Uh, fast forward a little bit to uh, 2012 and I started collecting Hot Toys um, 
and I started with some good ones. Uh, 90, 1989 Batman and Joker, uh, the 89 Batmobile uh, were some my first three purchases. Uh, I got my first statue in 2014, I believe, uh, with the 89 Michael Keaton Batman from Sideshow Collectibles. Uh, not long after I got the Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman to go with that. Uh, I, I still mainly focused on Hot Toys for many years until 2020 when uh, my collecting uh, made a complete 180 and I switched from Hot Toys to statues. Uh, was there a certain property that got me uh, first interested in collecting? Uh, once again, Star Wars was probably one of the main influencers uh, as well as Aliens and Predator. Uh, Batman characters um, I really started focusing a lot more on those when I was collecting hot toys. And I would say um, probably 20% of the hot toys I had were Batman uh, related characters. Um, what is the favorite piece in my collection currently? Man, that's a hard question. Um, The most recent acquisition in the collection is the Samurai Bane, and man, he's got to be up there as one of my favorites, but if I had to pick one, man, it would have to be the OG Samurai Batman from XM Studios. Uh, it's just phenomenal. I think it's the best one in the whole series, even better than Shogun, even better than Ivy. Uh, it is the favorite piece of my collection currently and will probably remain that way for quite some time. Uh, if I can own any piece, regardless of cost, what would I love to have in my collection? Well, uh, I'd really, really like to have um, Clayface in some form or fashion, uh, preferably in the Samurai line from XM just because that's what I'm focused on collecting right now, but uh, just in any scale really would be great. Quarter scale, third scale, uh, someone out there, please make a clay face. Um, we'll see though. Um, if I can have a company create my dream statue what would it be hmm. I'd really really like to see a Michelle Pfeiffer Catwoman bust and uh, one-to-one scale uh, I've got some uh, busts right now in the collection that it would look so great with um, a Joker that will be on the way hopefully later this year I just need a Catwoman now so hopefully uh, there's a company out there, wink wink, um, that will maybe make one. So we will see. All right, so uh, let's talk about the collection as it stands right now versus where it was the last time I was a featured collector. Um, early on, I, I went a little crazy in 2020. I, I had uh, sold almost all of my Hot Toys figures to uh, make the full transition into collecting statues. Uh, it funded uh, my head start into the statue world. Uh, it allowed me to uh, build some nice display cases and uh, get some pieces early on. Uh, like I said, to get a nice head start. Um, my first large purchase was the one-third uh, scale Prime 1 The Dark Knight Returns uh, from the Arkham City video game and it's still back behind me uh, as one of the favorites of my collection um, as soon after that I saw the Bermejo and it just got worse and worse from there um, I started getting a lot of sideshow pieces to add to the collection and uh Still focused on Batman, um, but I didn't have a great focus when it came to scales. So I had some one-sixth pieces, one-third, a lot of quarter scale, 
Uh, and it got to a point where space became more and more of an issue, so I've since had to add some shelving, uh, get creative, uh, sell things as new stuff came in. Uh, not too long ago, I made the decision to uh, focus on almost entirely on the Samurai line from XM. Uh, I started with the OG Samurai Batman, later got the Orochi Joker, uh, and then the Shogun Batman. I was lucky enough to find an uh, individual locally to buy that from. Uh, I had some opportunities for some others at one point, um, and I took those opportunities, and here I am now. Uh, I've recently been able to get the last few I wanted uh, from their villains. And I look forward to the future releases. I've currently got uh, Red Hood, uh, Penguin, and Scarecrow pre-ordered. Um, and I can't wait to see them in the cases back behind me. Hey guys, thank you so much for looking at my collection today. I want to give a big shout out and say thank you to Chris Michael for letting me shoot this video for the channel. He'll see you in the back gate. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today, and if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen, and check out these two awesome videos, I think you're going to love them, and also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching, see you in the Batcave.